Hi everybody, welcome to this module on threats to heritage. Last week we talked about how ownership impacts heritage and the potential multiple voices and contestations that can occur in the management of heritage. This week we will talk about threats to heritage. As we now know, destruction can occur sometimes as a result from the lack of access, inequality, and contested ownership. However, the most common and well-known threats are neglect, looting, vandalism, natural crisis, and general physical decay. While these topics seem quite obvious, they are connected to intricate questions, for example, is neglect an intentional or accidental destruction? Why is local development sometimes used to justify, through economic arguments, the destruction or loss of heritage? Do academics pose a threat to cultural heritage? When we look at intentional and ideologically motivated destruction, it's not a new thing. There are lots of cases where religious sites are destroyed by opposing groups with the same religion or from another religion. This results in the elimination of cherished and contested heritage. This type of deliberate destruction is called iconoclasm. It has a long history. Often intentional destruction like iconoclasm is aimed at the ideas that the objects and the places represent. Sometimes archaeological sites are even used as shields in wartime to prevent from an incoming attack. But who is to blame when the site gets intentionally or unintentionally but inadvertently destroyed? We will be putting this issue in its historical and current context. Also, we want to hear from you what potentially threatens your heritage but we will get to that later.